Hi there, I'm Nicholas Casamia, and I'm here with Peaches. Hey. At the patio of the Drake. Hey. On a Saturday night. On a Saturday night, it's, oh God, it's Saturday night. What are we doing here? Well, we're not drinking. Okay. We're being very good. Now, yeah. you're here for TIFF. Uh, yes, I am. I just flew in. You just flew in, okay. So, uh, you have a film that's premiering here. Yeah. Who would have thought? I know, who would have thought? It was actually, um, it, it was a stage production. I've yeah. been doing a lot of stage productions. I started with uh, Peaches Christ Superstar, which was like me performing the whole Peaches, Jesus Christ Superstar is a one woman show with right. Gonzalez playing all the whole orchestration on piano. Which was great. Thank you. It was amazing. It yeah. was really, you and, know, then, right. and then that theater in Berlin, the HAL, mm -hmm. um, which just won Theater of the Year. Oh. Yeah, the theater. Really? I, don't, I don't know in Germany or, or it must be in Germany, the theater of the year, yeah. Um, so uh, then they asked me to do a larger production. So I did a sort of fake kind of, not mockumentary, but um, biography on myself, kind of taking, taking a cue from uh, jukebox musicals and making an anti-jukebox musical so that you don't have the uh, like ridiculous story that doesn't relate to any of the songs. Right. Yeah. And taking a cue from Jesus Christ Superstar and making it more like rock opera style so there's no actual dialogue at all. It's just all through the songs. So. And this was Peaches Christ. No, this is no, Peaches no, Does this, Herself. This is Peaches Does this Herself. This is Peaches yeah. Does and, Herself. And then we, we filmed every night. Right. And we did uh, in the afternoon. We also painstakingly had the cast members come in for close-ups. Right. With, with a hope to make it a, at least a documentation, a good documentation. And it turned into a full feature. Like a full film. Yeah, yeah. Completely but it, like, in its own entity. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's a state. It's you know, like 89 percent stage right. performance. So is yeah. it your? It's still your music, though. It's still it's the, all my the music. regular. Like, it's regular. like it, it, it's all the history. It, I picked I picked um 23 songs from my last well my four albums. <laughs> This is a chance to do all the ridiculous things I could never do on a tour or do anywhere. Is it still fun making music? It's actually more fun because I took a little time off. I actually did a really funny, um, there's a, okay, this is, this is really random, but I'm going to tell you. Okay. <laughs> well, we did the Pussy Riot song in a week, me and right. Simone, and that, that, was, that was fun because it was all punky. And then I have a friend who's, who's an aerialist, and she's also a burlesque performer, and she's doing this new act where um, she's a butt plug that has a laser in her butt. The butt plug has a laser, it shoots a star, and she wanted me to write a song about it. Sweet. Very random, yeah. but it was fun, so I did that last week too. It was like, okay, one more thing. Mm. Yeah, but it was good, it's good. It's gonna be really fun making music. I have a new studio. Right. It's um, in an old public um, bath house. Not like a bath house like you're thinking, I know what you're thinking. I mean like public, like kids okay. and moms, swimming and stuff oh, okay. like that. But um, I have uh, an old shower and an old sauna. Wow. Yeah, yeah, it's good. So uh, let me ask you this, because um, you lived in LA for a while when you were making your yeah. second, no, were you father fucker? When were you For gonna... uh, Impeach My Bush. Okay, yeah. okay. So any, any thoughts of moving back to LA and writing for other people? Because you did some stuff with Pink. And you, yeah. did, you did some collaborations, yeah, not just with Iggy Pop, but with a lot bunch of people. Christina Aguilera. Christina Aguilera yeah. and La Tigra, when before La Tigra. Uh, am. Yeah. Um, but uh, we'll see. Yeah? Yeah. All right, so let me ask you this, because uh -huh. uh, now uh, people keep asking me this. Yeah. Is Peaches a lesbian? Oh. I am so sick of answering this question, but... Don't answer it. it. But what do you say? Let's not answer it. Just fuck it. Fuck it. Yeah. You're just a hot... sexual. Well, Friday night, Friday the 14th, you are performing here at the Drake? Yeah, yeah. Well, we're going to do... We brought our um, laser harps. We're uh -huh. going to do a little laser harp performance. So that's like eight... A harp. It's a harp because there's eight lasers in a row and you can play them. And we have three sets of them. And um, other performers from the uh, movie are going to do little... Performances too. There are going to be some pansexual freakish happenings. Sure. Yeah. Oh, cool. I mean, I'm so excited. <laughs> is it weird being back home? Is it weird? Um, it's not. Is it? It is home, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Of course, yeah. it's home. It's, yeah. it's, it's. You know, it's very familiar. Yeah. Yeah. In a good way. 
Well, you, you're a good familiar. Oh, that's right. <laughs> you have to say that. Damn it. I have to say it because I love you. And you slept in my bed. I <laughs> Never mind. All right, anyway. Meryl. We're good. Um, the, th the 14th. Is 14th at here. At the Drake. And the 13th, 13th. at 9 p.m. at the Hot Dog Cinema. I can't wait to see the movie. I'm so proud. Yay. Okay, we're good. You said